Yo, what's going on guys? My name is Clay and in today's video, we're going to be checking out my insane Fennec 45 class setup in Modern Warfare 2. If you guys are new to my channel, make sure to hit that subscribe button and also like the video. Let's try to get 40 likes on today's video. That would help out this channel a bunch as well as this video. Before getting into the attachments, I do want to say I think this was probably my fastest nuke ever. And I ended up going on like a 50 plus streak. I don't know if I broke my highest kill streak, which is 55, but I ended up like just absolutely shredding this lobby. And you will see in the gameplay, I do want to say this is like a faster mobility class setup and we are not going to be using a mag and you could switch it out for the optic. This is like just, I wanted to have a little bit of fun. So I threw on this optic. I'm going to go over the attachments for you guys over on the stock. I'm using the agile assault T7 stock. It adds sprint speed, aim walking speed, crouch movement speed, and aim down sight speed. The cons are aiming stability and recoil control. The tuning I went with is negative 2.45 ounces for aim down sight speed and negative 1.70 inches for aim walking speed. And like I said, over on the optic, I'm using the SZ mini. I just wanted to give myself like a little bit like something different, I guess. But I usually go with the Cronin Mini Pro. Over on the tuning, I went with negative 2.03 ounces for aim down sight speed and the eye position all the way over to far close. Over on the laser, I'm using the one milliwatt quick fire laser. Probably the best laser to go with if you don't want like your enemies to see the laser. You don't lose or you don't have any cons and the pros are aimed down sight speed. Over on the tuning, I went with negative 0.34 ounces for sprint to fire speed and the zeroing distance all the way over for aim down sight speed. For the barrel, I'm using the Finnick Covert Force Barrel. It adds sound suppression, damage range, hip fire accuracy, and bullet velocity. The cons are aim down sight speed with hip recoil control. Over on the tuning, I went with 0.34 pounds for recoil steadiness and negative 0.26 inches for aim down sight speed. And over on the underbarrel, I'm using the FSS Sharkfin 90 underbarrel for aiming idle stability. For the tuning, I went with 0.52 ounces for recoil stabilization and 0.30 inches for aiming idle stability. Like I said, you could change out the, um, the optic for either a magazine, so you can get like maybe this one just to add movement speed and aim down sight speed. But this is 12 rounds, so I don't really think this is a good one to go with the 45 round would probably be your better option or you could go with a rear grip any of these honestly this is probably my favorite one i don't i don't really if i throw on a rear grip i'm most likely using uh the one that gives you sprint to fire speed and aim down sight speed on all the guns but i have a crazy gameplay like i said in the beginning probably my fastest nuke ever and I hope you guys enjoy that. And if you do, let me know with a like. And I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace. Alright, I don't know how well this is going to go. But I'm going to try to get my fastest ever nuke. I'm just going to run right at him. Like, if I don't talk in this video... I'm trying to get like the my quickest ever nuke. So I okay, we're, we're gonna have to. I just I gotta I gotta remember to mute people. Like sometimes I want reactions, but. Come on, reload, reload. I'm just getting like getting unlucky. Yeah, Sky, come on, push me. Is 
a guy up there. God. <clears throat> Can't risk it. You have it. Keep it up. Hard point relocating. Stand by. I wasted time doing that, but. There it is. That was only... Oh my god. Oh my game. I'm on a 40 right now. Finally died. Mm.
feel insane with the finish. I don't know. This gun's OP. I'm gonna go ahead and drop the nuke. Make sure to hit that like button for me, please.